Hello, my beautiful Pisces friends. I'm here with another general reading for the sign of Pisces. Anyone with Pisces strongly in their chart could resonate with this message, but please remember, um, not everyone is in the same life template just because you are a Pisces sign. Um, we're all different ages. We all have different natal charts. Um, we're all living in different places in the world, going through different depths of experiences. So um, not everyone will resonate with this message, but hopefully there will be something here that will help you um, as you move forward in, in your journey. Um, let's go ahead and see what is here for the, the Pisces, this group of Pisces that I'm connecting in with. Um, let's go ahead and, and see. Let me turn off my volume on my computer here just in one second. My beautiful friends, welcome to this space. It's wonderful to have you here just as you are. I'm grateful for, for your presence. And I look forward to this energy, to this story that we bring forward. What is the current energy for this group of Pisces people? What is the current energy? What are they currently experiencing? What are they currently experiencing, please? What is this group of Pisces people currently experiencing? Well, this whole energy where you're currently at, there, there's something here that you are wanting for your own shelter, for your own, um, for your own foundation, for your own stability. There's something here, um, that has happened that has brought out something. It's look at this person's face here with the five of cups. Look at this face. I mean, I don't know if there's much more I need to say. See if it's going to focus on this. Right. Has something been done here? Has something happened? Has something been done that has caused causing you a lot of restless nights, a lot of stress, a lot of worry? Have you done something or has something done? Someone done something to you or has something happened that has been devastating for you? Um, it does look like it's already happened. It's already taken place. It's, it's affected something here with how you feel at work or how you feel within your home or how you feel about your love situation, how you feel about your family. It's how you feel about your stability. It's, it's affected the way that you take action. It's, it's somehow it's stunted. It's stunted the way you take action. Somehow it's, it's taken, it's put a, it's, this is about your foundation and there's a wobble. There's a wobble in your foundation. Let's say your foundation of your home is on part of your foundation is crumbling on your home or has crumbled. And when you, whenever you walk into the room that has the foundation that's crumbling, that part of your house tips down. Okay. I know it's silly. This is what they're showing me. So you, you have a house. Or let's say you have a tree house. Okay, sorry, they're going back to this. There's a branch here in this house. There's a couple of branches. There's been a big windstorm. And there's a couple of branches that have broken in this home. And so whenever you walk to this side of the house, the branches are moving and you feel like something's jolting under you. You can't get your feet properly on the ground. And when our feet aren't properly on the floor, when we're not balanced and steady, it's really hard to jump then, isn't it? It's real hard to move forward because you don't know which way you're going to go. So something has happened here that has created an unsteadiness in you so that it's hard to take action. It's hard to move forward because you have this feeling deep within you that something is going to be pulled out from you. There's going to be some sort of devastation. There's going to be some sort of doom. You might not have faith in, in if you, if you move and your home is going back and forth and your feet aren't steady, you might not have confidence in where, if you jump and where you're going to land, like if you're on a trampoline, if you've ever been on a trampoline and you're on the trampoline with another person and you're both jumping, if you're not in unison or if you're, if you don't have the right rhythm, that person could jump on the trampoline and you could go flying in another direction. There's something very unsettling within, within the emotional being. There's something here that's very unsettling. 
It's about how steady you are on your feet. It could be even something, I mean, I'm not a doctor nor a psychologist. I'm a life learner and I'm a life walker and I'm a game changer for myself. So I felt this, but it could, it could really, um, stop or slow down any progress that you make in life because you could have this fear of impending doom when there is no doom. It's just a fear. It could be something like CPTSD or PTSD or codependency or something here that, that is part of this bigger picture. But whatever has happened here, it has, it has shaken your foundation. And it could have been from a long time ago. It could have been from a series of cycles that you've been in. We have some major energy coming down here, some major change energy. There is a guiding hope. There is a connection here with source. There is some new revelation that's coming to you. There's new guidance. There's new information. There's new love. Something has opened up the gates of divine intervention here with the judgment energy. Something has been shown to you or something has been given to you the 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 um the love of source energy whatever religion you belong to whatever community or faith that you connect in with um there is some sort of warm loving energy coming down to you as you're in this very humble place very humble place here in your life um there is a true and great gift being given to you a gift of love a gift a gift of warmth a gift of compassion it's coming down on you and there is new, fresh, beautiful flowers popping up out of the snow. Um, this is, see, oh, there's her feet firmly on the ground. See, her feet are firmly, there's nothing, she's hiding nothing. Her ego is completely open to listening. Her mind is completely open to listening. See how she's, she's shocked. She's in love. She's in awe. There's a reverence here of whatever this is that's bringing new hope, new guidance, new connection here into her life. The power of this source energy has affected this person, has affected you, and the and the grounding that we see receive from Mother Earth um, with the feet firmly planted have allowed the new flowers, the new life, the new hope to spring up. But that's not that's not um, taking away that there is a lot of pain here. There's a lot of pain here, a lot of sorrow, a lot of emptiness. But there's something beautiful happening for this group of Pisces people with this light coming down. There's a rebirth here. There is a second chance here. And it has to do with your shelter, how steady you feel, future foundations, firming up your foundation, planting your roots, growing strong branches, connecting in with the 1111 energy, all of that, this light, this earth energy is the gateway to the real four of wands, a healthy four of wands. Let's see what's coming forward for you in the future. Seven of cups strength energy, the chariot energy. This deck is the wheel of the year, the wheel of the year. Lover's energy, prince of cups, high priestess, princess of wands, Prince of Page of Wands with the Four of Pentacles. <sighs> Sorry, I hit the tripod. I'm just getting sitting back in my chair now. So I feel like things are kind of settling in now. Um, whatever's happened here that's given you this second chance at something or some kind of decision that's been made or something has happened here 
um, that inspires you, that brings you to a new place of um, a second chance. There's some kind of a second chance happening here. Something happening here where you've received a message of love or you have received um, some kind of new inspiration. It's a new inspiring energy um, and it brings in some, it allows you to dream again. It allows you to imagine again. It allows you to open up the doorway to the imagination, which is the beginning of all beautiful new things is the imagination. So um, whatever has happened here with this darkness here, it, it could have really um, impacted the way that you are manifesting. Um, your thoughts could have been quite, um, I don't want to go back into this energy, but your thoughts could be quite focusing on pain and agony. And whatever this new element is with this judgment energy has come in, and it's helped you to be inspired about something, to begin imagining something new, imagining something different imagining how life could be or imagining how you would like life to be. I remember back in the days when I was working um, a, a, um, a normal job, I just was so depleted. I was so exhausted. Um, I just was working so hard and I had really nothing to, to give for it, nothing to, I received, I, I didn't have anything in the bank, money was coming in and going out, and all of the effort I was putting in, the long hours that I was working, the, the heart space that I gave, the dedication that I gave to work, it just truly um, did not give back to me what I was spending, and so I was in a very depleted space. And I remember thinking, well, how would I like my mornings to be? Not what exactly would I do every morning, but how would I like to feel every morning? And I laid in bed for, for, for several weeks and I, and I imagined myself waking up with nowhere that I needed to go, nowhere that I needed to go. I could wake up whenever I wanted to, eight o'clock in the morning, maybe not five or six. And I could just lay in bed and listen to the birds sing. And then when I was ready to get up, I would get up and I would go out and make myself a cup of coffee and I would sit and I would relax and I would meditate. And that's what I imagined. And at the time, it felt so silly uh, because I was in this rut. I was in this routine that continually asked of me um, what took away the most of me, which was my energy, my love. Um, it really took everything from me. It was not a natural thing for me to do what I was doing, but I was good at it. And I was very much a part of a team and I was very willing to put in more than my fair share, right? And so I, I decided that I you would use some of that energy that I extended every day and I would imagine what I would like my morning to be like. And I started to go through this journey of change and it was very difficult. It was one of the hardest things I've ever done. And one morning I was laying in bed and I realized I had manifested what I had imagined. I had totally changed my life. I was laying in bed. I didn't have anywhere that I had to go. I was listening to the birds sing. The sun was coming in through my window and I had changed my life. I had manifested what I had dreamed of. And so I'm here to tell you that the imagination and manifesting what are only our imaginations, our, our brain cannot imagine it, right? The brain, the right side of the brain or the, 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 the brain cannot imagine it, but the imagination can. It's such a valuable, valuable tool for us um, in order to bring change into our world. There's something here that you're beginning to dream of. You're beginning to dream of. Um, it is requiring you to kind of put your feet back on the ground. Um, but, but at this point in time, even when I was imagining the morning time and how I would like the morning to be, even in that time, there was no way that I could possibly see how I was going to bring this to fruition. I, I had no idea how I was going to do it. So at some point, you will bring your feet back on the ground here. But for right now, it is necessary for you to imagine, to allow your vibration to raise. See these beautiful colors here. This is imagination, right? And there will be times during the day when you will need to use your strength. You will need to really harness that beast within you so that you can get through each day. You don't have to talk about it to anyone because who can kill a manifestation faster? 
Let me tell you, other people. Other people can kill your manifestation faster than anything. So the high priestess is here to, um, to, to give you the energy to keep it within you, to connect with source energy. This is your platform. This is your foundation. And you do this by connecting to source energy, not to anyone else's bandwagon, not to anyone else's dream, not to anyone else's advice, but to source energy, to the, to the energy that gives you strength and guidance. And it comes from above and the grounding that we can feel when we put our feet onto mother earth. These gifts have been given to us as we have birthed onto this earth plane and they will be with us until we die. And so this is talking about um, having the tenacity and the perseverance to keep this within you. This is a beautiful secret that you have within you. This is the beginning of manifestation to not allow someone else who has fear of you changing, someone else who likes you the way you are, who is benefiting from the way you are, to not allow anyone to touch this beautiful dream that you have inside of you, page of wands, a youth, a new youthfulness that you have inside of you, that fire that is beginning to glow that you have inside of you, that is beginning to flicker, that's beginning to light up your, your space, this new youthfulness, this new adventure energy that's beginning to, to, to blossom inside of you. This is something to dearly protect, something to keep secret now, not to let anyone know that you have this flame flickering inside of you so that it doesn't get diminished. There is, again, in your daily life, a need here to continue forward with balance and strength. As you begin to manifest this, to continue forward with balance and strength. And even in this moment, I feel like crying. Ooh, it's like the, the hmm. it's going to get a little bit hard. As you feel this flame and as you continue forward in your daily life, as you work to manifest this and, and take the steps to make small changes, doesn't have to be big changes, but small changes in your life to bring in a new reality. It's, it can take some time. For me, it took several years. It can take a little bit of time, but your soul is worth it. Your dreams are worth it. Your heart is worth it. So it's like you have two polar opposite energy. So you have the energy of moving forward during the day, getting things done, how they need to be completed during the day with the strength and this chariot energy. And then within you, you have this revitalization of the soul going on here. Revitalization of the soul. <sighs> Clearing of the energy, learning how to clear your energy, learning how to leave behind the dense energies that you have carried around you of your own energy that you have created and of the energy of other people that you have absorbed. So there is a process here where you're beginning to clear that energy out, raising your vibration, clearing that energy out. You have the four of pentacles here with the lover's energy. So you're going to begin the process of, um, it's, it's going to be a little bit of a tug of war. It's a little bit of a tug of war between your daily environment and your inner environment. And you're going to begin to, um, it's almost like I want to say hoard. Um, you could feel like a little bit of a selfishness, but it is not a selfishness. It is a healthy selfishness. Let's call it selfishness. Let's call it selfishness. This is what you're working towards. This is what you're working to imagine. So yes, it is for you. It is for you. This time is for you. This energy is for you. Yes, you do need to move forward in a way that's going to benefit you. Right. So this, again, is this flip flopping of energies. So you're going to be taking this energy and where you've been putting it into the past, into your sorrows, into other people. You're going to begin to take it now for yourself and you're going to begin to make um, very careful decisions in how you spend your time during the day, what you spend your energy on, how you focus your attention and what you focus your attention on. Um, it is a twisting of it is a twisting of the energies. Pisces, you're twisting, you're twisting the energy. You're starting to make very balanced choices, very good decisions about your inner balance, your inner heart. Um, the lover's energy is a Gemini energy. What else do we have here? Pisces energy. There you are. We have chariot um, cancer energy. We have Leo energy. We have some water energy here. There you are. So over the next few weeks, this is learning how to to begin to focus your attention and your energy, 
connect into source energy, connect to the earth to balance yourself, but to bring in that source energy from the heavens um, that fills up your heart center and begins to heal the energy centers within yourself. Um, this is the personal empowerment journey that you're, that you're headed on. You're headed into personal empowerment, personal strength, personal reliance, personal um, achievement. All of these goals have the word personal in front of them. Personal. And yes, it can feel uncomfortable with the Four of Pentacles. It can feel uncomfortable. But as you work in that energy and as you bring balance to your inner health, your inner desires, your goals and your dreams that are truly your own, you begin to then build a greater balance in your exterior world so that you're not, um, you're not living in this kind of an energy, right? You're moving forward from this kind of an energy here. So the next few weeks or the next month or two are going to be about um, understanding the difference between this kind of an energy. It's understanding the difference between this kind of an energy and this kind of an energy and how you can do that for yourself. You don't need anyone else to help you do that. These are natural gifts that are given to us as human beings. You don't need money for this. You don't need other people for this. All you need is the earth and the sky. That's all you need to get this energy. That's all you need. That's how you begin. You begin with the earth and the sky. See, this is the beginning. And then you work to bring in other things. So this is what, for this group of people, this is the beginning of a brand new manifestation and without this without this kind of sorrow without this kind of hurt you may never have reached this stage it's like you had to be pushed you had to be pushed so hard to reach these energies and now you're here and you're working to attain them you're working to get yourself into this kind of vibration here even though your earthly experience your external experience might still be like this it's necessary to start imagining and to start building the energy within you so that you can start to change this, right? You can start to change this then. Let's see what your guidance is. Now I have my cards all mixed up here. Let's see what the guidance is. What is the guidance, please, for Pisces? Eight of Swords in the reverse. Beautiful. Eight of Pentacles in the upright. Oh my gosh. Two of Pentacles lateral with the Nine of... Oh my God. This is how beautiful Spirit is, my friends. This energy of the imagination is going to allow you to move out of this cycle of hopelessness that you've been in. Cycle of weaknesses, weakness, cycle of um, feeling like there's no alternative for you. Um, whatever it is, you'll never have money. You'll never have love. You'll never have freedom. You'll never be able to go on vacation. You'll never be out of the servitude or slavery. Whatever this was, this imagination is helping you to break forward out of that cycle, out of that pattern. You have the Eight of Pentacles, so there is guidance here to stay working on that, to not get distracted about that, to stay focused on your own abundance here, to make daily decisions, daily decisions on how you will focus your attention, how you will focus your energy. You only have so much energy every day, right? We do live within the human body. We are humans. We all need sleep. We all need rejuvenation. We all need food. We are not at the stage yet where we don't need to eat. We are not. So you only have so much energy throughout the day. How will you focus it? Will you listen to an hour to someone who is complaining to you about their life when you have no money and you have no resources, yet you listen for an hour to someone who is complaining about something trivial? Will you do that? 
Or will you say, oh, you know, I've got to run. I have some things to do. It's really nice to see you. Um, I look forward to seeing you again. Um, I've got to go. Let me give you a hug. It's so wonderful to see you. All right, bye. And then you go. And what do you do with that last 45 minutes? What do you do? What your heart wants to do. What refreshes you and rebuilds you and revitalizes you. This is learning now how to focus your energy in a way that recreates the original you. The original you. So this is making daily choices in a real way to bring revitalization and health back to your soul, back to your sanctuary, back to who you are as an individual and a beautiful, beautiful person with a beautiful heart. This journey is not over for you. It is just beginning. Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. And it's in this process, however long it's going to take you. It took me, it took me a year and a half to really see major changes. But time flies, does it not? Does time not fly? It does. And there are beautiful discoveries on this journey. Beautiful joys. Beautiful enlightenment. Beautiful epiphanies. It's going to be fun. It's going to be beautiful. And soon you will begin to see your wishes coming true, your dreams being attained, new life, new joy, new discoveries. It is the process to freedom. It is the process to abundance. Our right, tractor has just gone by. <laughs> And in that way, it almost brought, I was floating in the air just now. I was floating in the air. And that tractor going by kind of brought me down out of the air, didn't it? And now I'm back, settled down on the ground. There is always reality. Whenever we work with the imagination, there's always reality. And it's how we merge the two energies together that helps to bring in um, attainment of our goals. So my beautiful friends, I wish you a lot of love and joy and balance and peace as you move into this brand new beginning that you're working to create. I send you warmth and love and compassion and understanding about trials and challenges and heartache and urge you to take some of that energy and begin to imagine a beautiful new beginning because I remember back in the days my imagination could live in here really well my my imagination could imagine all kinds of things in this energy it takes skill and intention to what happened to that old energy what did I do with it to begin to imagine in a different way right it's a different use of the imagination there's a beautiful new beginning here for you Pisces and it makes me so happy to see this as i move into the extended i am going to look deeper here um, into some of these energies i'm going to look deeper into this four of wands i'm going to look deeper into this nine of pen uh, this nine of cups i'm going to look deeper into the chariot energy And I'm going to look deeper into the lover's energy and see what we can pull out of these energies. See what we can get here. A little bit more information for you for the future. Um, and then I'm going to look at the people who are around you and what their intentions are. I'm going to look at the people who are around you and what their intentions are as you move forward. Remember, this is the next immediate future. So for some of you, this could be um, a six-month reading. For others of you, this could be a very short um, a short experience where you're, you're recovering from something here and you're rebuilding after some kind of, of, of short-term um, slowdown or short-term challenge. So it just kind of depends on how this really fits with you. All right, my beautiful friends, I'm moving into the extended now. Um, for those of you that are satisfied with this reading, that makes me happy. For those of you that are looking for more information, feel free to move to the extended um, and I will continue there. All right, thank you, my beautiful friends.